iOS 17 is out and my friends, this is by far the best iOS version that Apple has been released. You can now set multiple timers at once. There are new widgets that you can choose from and now you can use your phone as a smart display. You'll be shocked if you see the last feature I'll be sharing in this video. At least I was. By far my favorite one is the new communication feature. And this my friend might just be the biggest update in iOS 17. You can now create these custom contact posters that people see see when you call them. To do this, open up the contacts app and select the person you want to edit. Tap on edit, then add photo. From here, you can choose a picture for that specific person. Now, if the next time they call you, you will see their picture on your phone instead of just their name. Cool, right? For communications, there are a number of other improvements to the messages app in iOS 17. You must have sent voice messages before to someone. And now your iPhone has the ability to convert those voice messages into a summarized text along with the voice you are sending. For example, if you say I'll be there at 5, you'll see your iPhone is also typing that under the voice message you sent. This could be a really useful feature for people who are not able to open the voice message at that time so they could read the text. Feature number three is the new airdrop feature, which is also my favorite. So what you used to have to do to send someone an image via airdrop, you have to go and select that image, then find that person, select it, and send it to that specific person. But now you can just bring your iPhones close together like this, then you can share files, pull up, you can share contact info which will comes in really handy if you want to get the girl's number in the public for this feature the iPhone uses the NFC tag inside it it's the same way that you pay for something with your phone and the next one might be the most interesting one the standby mode. I'm pretty sure that so many people was so hyped about this feature. Standby mode is a new way to use your iPhone when it's charging. It turns your iPhone into a smart display where you can see the time, widgets, and live activities. To enable standby mode, simply plug your phone into a charger and place it on a flat surface. Once the standby mode is enabled, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to see your widgets. You can also tap on the time to see live activities, such as the score of a game or the progress of your food delivery which can save a lot of time for you from constantly checking your phone i think this might just kill your iphone's battery at the end of the day but i'm pretty sure that this is not better than turning off your iphone i mean what do you think is it a good feature or a bad one let me know in the comments this feature that i'm about to share with you now is the second most useful feature of ios 17 maybe from my perspective though it's the interactive widgets you can basically take action with just a tap App without opening the app. For example, you can play or pause a song, start the timer, or send a message without having to open the app. This feature just by itself could be making the experience of using your iPhone a lot more sufficient. Another sufficient upgrade in iOS 17 is Siri. Now, you don't need to say, hey Siri. You just can say, Siri, what's the weather like today? Should be sunny today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 69 degrees. What about tomorrow? Expect some clear skies tomorrow. Did you see what just happened? Siri will listen after it finishes talking to you. So you can just talk to it as long as you want. My friends, we just came to the last feature, which I think might shock you. You can now use gestures in your FaceTimes to make a reaction. For example, if you put your hands into a heart shape, you get these heart reactions. If you make the peace sign, you will see balloons flying off your phone. And the best part is you will see balloons flying behind you. And if you do two peace signs, you will see this reaction. If you're happy, you can do two thumbs up. And if you're sad, you can do two thumbs down. And if you do this, you'll get a laser like this. Well, it's not just the reactions. Your iPhone now can use artificial intelligence to change the lighting on your face. You can simply adjust it from here. Let me know what you think about the new iOS 17 features and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech videos like this.